Hello, welcome. We have this question that has been on my timeline for about a week now. We want to see what the answers will be. The largest number which divides 60 and 75, leaving a remainder of 8 and 10 respectively, is what? We are looking for the largest number that uh, we divide, that can divide this. We know under division we have the numerator, the numerator, the quotient. We have the dividend, divisor, quotient. Then if there's a remainder, it means the factor that is dividing this that we are looking for is not a factor of 60. You are looking for a number that is not a factor of 60 and it's not a factor of what? 75. But it divide, divide it anyway, leaving a remainder of what? 8 for 60 and uh, 10 for what? 75. So right away, let us take 60 minus what? 8. See, this is the remainder. The number that is dividing 60, leaving a remainder of 8, is not a factor of what? Of 60. So we need to take away the 8 so that that number can easily divide it. So that will give us... 52. Then I will take 75 minus 10. That will give me what? 65. So there is a certain number that divide uh, 52 the same time divide what? Uh, 65. What are we looking for? We are looking for the highest common factor. There is a certain highest common factor that can divide uh, 52 the same time divide what? 13. We can start by listing the factors of this. In that subsection, or we can also use the prime multiple. So 52, if 2 go here, that is 2 times what will give us, I believe, 2 will go here 2 times. So we have what? Uh, 26, right? So if it is 26, I'll have 26. 26 also have a factor of 2, right? And that will also be 2 times what? 13. So this time this is 4. 4 times this will give us a 52. Since 13 is a, a prime number, I will leave it that way. Then 65. Can 2 divide this? I believe not. We move to the next prime number, which will be 3. 3 will go here. I'm not sure. Because 3 will go here easily. But I cannot go into 5. Let's go to 4, which is not the prime number. So let's go to 5. 5 can go here. The 5 times what give us 65? I believe that to be what? 13. So our common factor here is only going to be 13. Therefore, the highest common factor will be 13. 13 is the number that divides 60, leaving a remainder of what? 8. The same 13 divides 75, leaving a remainder of what? 10. Thank you for watching. Like and share. Bye-bye.